Hey, what is going on, fam? Good day. Wanted to jump in here real quick. Uh, 30 day live video challenge, day number four. Still at it. This is my recommit. I had a, I had a, I failed over the weekend, so I recommitted on Sunday, and I'm back at it here for day number. For 30 days, I'm day number four here today. I wanted to jump in and talk a little bit about the recent shift that we made over in the Making Peace with Porn community, shifting the group name from Making Peace with Porn to Porn to Purpose. You know, I started the Making Peace with Porn community back in November or December of 2019. And I opened that community as a way and a means of bringing men together from around the world to get to work on this uh, issue that so many men, so many of us around the world deal with, have dealt with in in resolving and uprooting, in uh, getting the toxic behavior habit of porn out of our lives for good. It's a, it's an issue that a lot of men deal with in the darkness and the shadows of life. A lot of it's an issue that a lot of men deal with uh, all by themselves, you know. It's a very lonely journey for a lot of men. <clears throat> and there's a lot of shame and guilt and just crap around it. So my idea was to bring this community of men together from around the world and begin serving this community. And Making Peace with Porn was the original kind of name or concept for the community. The, the vision for our community is to bring together a global community of 10,000 men coming together to do this work and uh, to support men in this journey. And uh, so we started with the name back in 2019 of Making Peace with Porn, which I thought had a nice ring to it. And really, to me, spoke to the idea of making peace with something that for so much of our lives we have been at war with, you know, making peace with this area of our lives. I've, I've heard a lot of men, you know, a lot of men have come at me and say, well, I don't want to make peace with porn. I want to make war. Well, that's okay. If you want to make war with more things in your life, that's your choice. That's not really the approach we're taking. We want to resolve and put to rest, put behind us, make peace with this, with this area of our lives, which had, which had uh, been a thorn in our side for so many years. So that was the idea there. Um, and as we began doing the work, you know, we opened up the Liberation Boot Camp, which is, which is our 90-day program, and began uh, really serving men on a more deep and intimate level. Um, in this work and, and doing, doing, you know, bringing clients on and, and serving men at that level, um, and, and and creating the Liberation Bootcamp program, I began to kind of recognize this journey of moving into greater levels of purpose, um, being such a crucial key in the long-term porn abstinence journey. You know, purpose, vision, why. You know, I recognize for me that porn was something that was inhibiting me moving into my calling in, in my life and in, into my service, being of service to others, being of service to others. I felt like, how could I look someone in the eyes honestly and be of service to them when I had this unresolved issue in my own life, you know? At least that was my story around it. <clears throat> so for me, I really felt like porn was acting as a, a, a spiritual block, a spiritual ceiling in my own life and really inhibiting me from moving into greater service and greater purpose in my own life. And as I put together what I now call the freedom framework, which is about our 10 component or 10 piece kind of formula for long-term freedom, long-term uh, abstinence from porn, which is always our goal, right? Let's create like the long-term game plan. Um, you know, purpose, vision, why was a big piece of the puzzle. Logan, good to see you, brother. Purpose, vision, why was a big piece of the puzzle. So I ended up deciding to kind of name our brand or our, our company, the, 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 the coaching umbrella arm of our work, Porn to Purpose, because it really spoke to my journey and it speaks to the journey that we take our men through. At the kind of like the, the back end of our journey, what we're ultimately doing is helping men go from where they are into a greater sense of vision for their own lives and helping, helping them connect with their sense of purpose and their why in their own lives and in their journey. So for me, this idea of Porn to Purpose also had a really nice ring to it but really spoke to the journey, spoke to my own journey, and speaks to the journey that we take our men through, helping them connect with that. Like I found that in, in addiction, in addiction recovery, in, in porn addiction, sex addiction, you know, if we're gonna say no to the behavior, we have to be clear on what we're saying yes to. So that's why in our work together in the Liberation Boot Camp, you know, we spend six weeks or so really helping our men really reconnect with and tap into that idea of that sense of vision, that sense of purpose in their own lives. So porn to purpose is how we moved there 
and ultimately felt like that was the direction we were moving in and um, also moving in the direction of really supporting fathers, husbands, and, and impact-driven entrepreneurs in this work. Now, our community is still comprised of men of all walks. As long as you're a man of character, you're, you're welcome inside our community. But also recognizing what a, what a burden this was for fathers and husbands and, and, and the commitment that I've seen that these men have showing up to the work. You know, having really something to lose if they don't get this resolved in their own lives. So kind of moving in that, in, just in, in that focusing in our work as well. So that's a little bit of the story of the recent change to our community name, moving from making peace with porn to porn to purpose. Really allowing our community to reflect the work that we're doing inside the Liberation Bootcamp and speaking more to that journey. Thanks so much for checking in on this video. We see we got a couple people on. We'd love to hear your thoughts around this. As always, if you are a man of character, that's the only requ that's the only requirement. That's, that's the only criteria. And you're looking to resolve this issue of pornography in your own life. We invite you to join us. It's a private community. We take a really close look at everybody that comes into the into the community, so it's safe for all of our members, and we can create a safe a, a safe space as we can on Facebook to be vulnerable and open and share and, and, and go to work on this issue. So, uh, welcome. Uh, I invite you to join us over in that community. And as, as always, if I can be of direct or immediate support to you in your journey, if you're ready to get this resolved and behind you. I, invite you to reach out to me. I'd be happy to see what we can do to be of support to you. Thanks so much for joining. We'll look forward to seeing you around. Peace and love to wherever you are in the world. We are noblemen. Bye-bye.